Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Chill Time with Kelly. I am your host, Kelly, and we are in July now. So this episode is going to be my mid-year 2023 check-in. Now, yes, I. if you're watching this on YouTube, I am in a different background right now. I'm just trying out different backgrounds for recording. So let me know which one works the best for you guys. How I get my podcast up on YouTube is basically I screen record the whole episode and then upload it. But recently in uh, my two guest episodes with Jen and Jason... Um, I will I'll link those in the description box if you guys are curious about how I was able to get those up on YouTube. I recorded it on my computer and then I was able to upload it. It was much, much easier on me. So let's see how this works. All right, so let me know if you guys like this format. But anyway, enough rambling. It is time for my 2023 mid-year check-in with you guys. So, oh, 2023, just these past six months, and so like, it literally goes by so so fast. Like literally, it's in the blink of an eye. I, it's literally going to be 2024, and I highly suggest you guys to take in every single moment of gratitude and take in literally every single day as your current moment if you're trying to manifest something go for it it's if you want this certain item or this certain person go for it like nothing is stopping you except for yourself so make the rest of 2023 like amazing and memorable like I think the most memorable thing that I have gotten and done and have been a part of is the is literally the whole entrepreneur or slash podcast slash business community like I signed up for that in February and that was literally what it's July so February that was like five months ago and honestly it has changed my life for the better I have made the most amazing friends. I have met some of the most amazing women. And it just has been, it's been so amazing. And it's just been so heartwarming to be in the community where you're loved and accepted for who you are. And you always have constant support, no matter what. And that's just what's really important, I feel like. So that is definitely my first tip to like how to treasure the rest of 2023. The next thing I will say, I know a lot of us are always constantly looking into the future of oh, what I want to do in the next five years. And that's amazing. I love it. And that's a great long-term goal that I've definitely seen like going around. But let's also not forget Let's not forget also those short-term goals. So, and what I mean by short-term goals is just like living in the moment every single day, because literally this day, you're not going to get back and le- until like next year, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. So that's another thing that I have been literally so happy about because ever since I made that realization, like I have so many long-term goals, I started to think to myself, well, what are my short-term goals? Like, what do I want to achieve by tomorrow? And that's where my living with intention journal comes in, which I will also link, see if I can link that below if it's available. But the living with intentions is basically a journal where you where literally it asks you the same thing every single day what was amazing about today what did you love about today what do you want to live by tomorrow and what do you want tomorrow to feel like and that really helps me just keep control of my own life because literally you are the CEO of your own life and then you're in control of your own life too and it is just 
I think what's really important as well, just to know that you're in control of your own life. So if you want to tell somebody that you appreciate them, you're grateful for them, do it. Because you never know what this tiny, tiny act of kindness could make out for somebody's day. And I'll give you guys an example of what I did to make someone's day. So I live in an area where there's like and like a mass transit, so a ton of trains and a ton of buses. There is this one woman who did not have enough money to get on the subway, and she definitely looked extremely stressed. So I told her, do you want me to swipe you in? And she was just like, would you? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I just swiped my card. I told her, go ahead. And then she couldn't stop thanking me. And literally, she looked so shocked that I did something like that for her. And honestly, it made my day. Like, it literally made my day. Like, I just couldn't believe it. That just like a simple act of kindness could literally make the biggest impact on someone's life. And I think that's something also really important consider as well and another piece of kindness that I have done for people is to definitely help them out whenever I can so and I, I'm not talking about people pleasing I'm literally talking about just doing little small acts of kindness so basically at work the other day so my supervisor was extremely extremely stressed about something and he already had a tough morning. I could see it in his eyes. So I did one tiny little piece of kindness for him. I helped him set up for his work. So I got an earful from my manager that day. But I didn't care because I knew it would change his day. And it definitely did because then he would not stop thanking me for helping him out that day. He kept telling me, oh, you didn't have to do this or you didn't have to do that. And I kept telling him, listen, we're still coworkers. You need my help. I saw you needed my help. So that's what I did. And just literally the pure shock in his eyes were literally the best ever like I couldn't believe it it was literally so so amazing so that has definitely changed my life for the better because in return he helped me out that day with something else and I couldn't ask for for an even better day that day as well so that's the other thing that I have learned. And another thing that I would suggest for you guys, for all you listeners out there, air for the rest of 2023, if you want to do something, go for it. Right? Even if you're scared, take the leap and go for it. Like for me, a podcast has been a childhood dream of mine. I was super, super shy growing up. I didn't even think I would have had the guts to put out a podcast and just talk to strangers, literally, or talk to actually just talking to like a computer and my phone for about 20 to 40 minutes or even an hour <laughs> talking to somebody. And I just took the leap. And one day, I literally just thought to myself, I kind of want to do a podcast. That actually sounds really, really fun. And it was, I launched in March. So three months into 2023. That was my quarter, quarter, yeah, quarter, or their goal oh, that I set myself for 2023. And it came true. And honestly, I couldn't be more thankful for that and honestly it has been the best decision I've ever made like in one month I've hit 66 listens 
across all my episodes. And honestly, the child in me would think, oh, I cannot, that it's too good to be true. It would like, I am that interesting that people are interested in listening to my life. Like, yes, girl, oh, like, your tips could easily help and impact somebody who is months behind you. And that is something my mentor told me. And honestly, that has stuck with me from the get-go. So it's just amazing. It's just amazing how like my six months have been. And also I have been living each day with way more intention. And I've also been kinder than myself. And so if you're really mean to yourself and you just keep saying things to yourself like, oh, I can't do this because of X, Y, and Z. This person's not going to like me because of X, Y, and Z. Like, cut it out. out. Like, stop down talking yourself and just live consciously. Like, the more nicer you are to yourself, it w- you will be attracting even more nice people into your life. And that's also what I have learned. I stopped being mean to myself and just and stopped thinking to myself, oh, I am, my body is not good enough for this, or I am too skinny. I cannot wear that. Like, I like, no. Oh, like, if you say that kind of stuff to yourself, like, I'm giving you a big hug right now. I am here to gas you up. Like, don't say that to yourself. Uh, Because when you say that to yourself, you're attracting more thoughts and more proof in your life that it is happening. And that's why I live consciously now, and I just constantly watch what I say to myself. And if something bad happens, I don't dwell on it or anything like that. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, <laughs> to, to dwell on negativity, hey, which I did used to do, but I don't anymore. And it honestly has changed my life for the better. So with that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. I will see you guys next time. And one tip, the biggest tip I will ask for you guys to take, and I hope you will take from this episode is live each day to its fullest. Like, and also plan things if you can like I batch recorded a lot of episodes and I post them whenever I can this is my first time in I think two weeks actually recording a podcast because I fell a little bit behind but I don't beat myself up over it I do it when I can because this is my show and I'm in control of what I do on my show so anyway see you guys next time on Chill Time with Kelly.